emerging from the labs to reignite the arguments around GM food. It's certainly not a dangerous technology, it's about the most benign technology I can imagine. So, is this GM's game-changing crop? It dispels the myth that GM is some kind of ogre which is going to destroy agriculture as we know it. But organisations which oppose GM insist there's still plenty to fear. We can't give any kind of blanket assurance that GM foods are safe to eat. Yet, one of their former leaders breaks ranks for the first time to say they're wrong. It is, in my view, unacceptable, morally unacceptable, to stand out against these new technologies. So, are groups which oppose GM right to be worried, or are they feeding the fear? To some, genetically modified food still means Frankenstein food. No, no, GMO! No, no, GMO! Opponents say there's still lots to worry about. What happens is you know, enormous amounts of contamination, a huge, significant environmental damage, and you know, a loss of control. We are assuming that they're safe, and that is a very big and very dangerous assumption. 18 million farmers grow GM crops in 27 countries. Billions of meals have been eaten with GM ingredients. So far, a mixture of public concern and European rules have kept them out of British fields. GM has now been around for a generation. After all that time, is the unease and occasional hostility still justified? Tonight, we're going to tell you the story of two genetically modified crops that might change your mind. The first, a humble potato, is being developed in Britain. And the other is here in Bangladesh. Hafizur Rahman is one of the country's 70 million farmers. Today, he's selling aubergines. It's a common food here, but these are a new, genetically modified variety known as Bt Brinjal. How are you feeling about your crop? Uh, 